Welcome to Summon Awesome Games, good looking people, I'm Rob. We are playing Recore, the loading screen game. But, we're gonna get all of Natalie's logs, her audio logs. We're gonna collect them all. This guide is in the order of the logs, not the order that you get them. So this is log number one, log number two, log number three. So that way, if you're looking for a very specific log, say you're missing log number six, you can scroll through, find log number six, watch that, get that. Easy as pie. Far so we've entered the Lonely Basin. This is log number one. Right there. I don't expect you to have missed this one. And if you did, that's fine. I ain't judging you. Hell, some of these are in crazy spots. This took me a long time. A long time. This is one of the longest collectible guides I've ever done. I don't know why. Some of them, I guess it's the loading screens, honestly. That probably added six days to my uh, search. But log number two. Let's get to it. Log number two, Lonely Basin, we're up here. Go to where I am. That's like pro tip right there. Wherever I'm showing you, go there. That way you get the log. And if you're one of those people who, who love to watch a collectible guide, see it step by step, see the exact location, and then still, still go, where is that? Doctor, hold on. I, I don't think games are for you, buddy. Uh, but log number three. Here we are. We are in the cradle. We're right here. You can fast travel here. There you go. You can fast travel right here. And then we're going to go up to whatever the hell this is. This little uh, cup looking thing. When you go to that. So here we are. Violet. I showed you where we're going. So you have no excuse. Honestly, no excuse. You'll be surprised. I know some of you are like, man, I, I don't do that. You probably don't. But there are people. My God. There are people. You have no idea. Make a collectible guide, dumb it down a lot, and you'll be amazed the people who come out. See, I'm saying this to see if I can stop it for once. If I can meet it head on. Alright, log number four, Lonely Basin. We're going here. Here we are. So you enter this like crazy spiky area, and you jump across all these things. Now, if you've got the spider bot, great. You can use a rail thing, which I'll show you. The log's right up there. So that's where we're going. See that flashing thing? That is where we're going. But we're going to dash across here. Right? Dash, dash, dash. Good for us. We'll grab this. You got to grab that. Then we're going to dash up here. Now, like I said, if you have the spider bot thing, you can use this rail up here. Probably. I have the spider bot. I still couldn't use the damn thing. Even with a dash, jump, jump, dash, I still couldn't use it. I don't know why. So, we got a little bit creative here. So this is for those of you who can't use it and need to get creative. This is it. What we're going to do, jump on this thing. Alright, we're going to jump on, what I'm trying to do, jump on here. And we're going to jump for that. You see it? Dash to it. There you go. Don't worry about getting bumped back as long as you land on it. Then we're going to jump out. And in. So out, in. There we go. And then we're up here. And then we just got to jump up to the next level. That's where it is. A little bit more creative getting audio log number four, but if you're one of the lucky ones who can use the rail, then great, do that. Obsidian run, so now I think the rest are all in dungeons, more or less. So now we're going into obsidian run, the dungeon. There we are, we're in here. This one's so easy, you'll be like, wow, how did I not find that? Maybe I didn't play the dungeon. So open the dungeon, step one. Go this way, jump. Stop! Turn around. There it is! What? Right? That's what I'm talking about. Who come up with that spot? That's a dick spot, man. I don't even know how I found that. Honestly, look, Jewel's celebrating because she's like, man, come on. Seriously? Alright, we're in the Armory Flux, right? Armory Flux. This is log number six. We're here. So there's a start. You go straight. You come to this corner. Simple, right? Simple. So dash across, make your way there. Avoid these balls and lasers and stuff because that's fun. Oh man, these ones are fun. Beating that time limit, getting all the targets and the yellow key. That's a hoot and a half. But, here is the yellow key. You see, there's the key. Shoot that guy. Now, if we fake, so if you continued on, you'd go that way, right? The, uh, the thing is up there, so we're gonna jump up here. The yellow key is directly behind us. We haven't left the area, we haven't changed. I know there was a cut. I know there was a cut, don't freak out. Get this, so we just jumped across those things there. That's the ones we jumped across, right? We got the, we got the log. 
There is the key. Like I said, don't freak out. I know someone's going to say, Whoa, where did you go? But seriously, come on. How hard is it to follow that? Natalie Log number seven. We're in the Acid Marsh. Another dungeon right in the rewards room. Obviously, that's very obvious. Collect all your little treasures. Yay for us. Prismatic cores. Don't mind if I do, you say. I'll take it. And the, the log is in here. I'm giving you time to find it yourself. That's what this is. This is not just poor editing and me accidentally leaving this in. This is like, you know, I'm giving you a chance to find one yourself. But if you can't, that's fine. We're going to go down the back way here. And guess what? Guess what? There it is. Right under the ramp. Perfect position to be taken. Mwahaha. So, log number eight. We're going. So, there's Acid Marsh. That's where. That's just in case you needed that clarification. Log number eight, the Colosseum. So, you gotta go into the desert, climb up all the freaking spider rail things, go into the rewards room of the Colosseum. So, beat the Colosseum. You don't have to do a good job, you just gotta beat it. And there is log number eight. Dunzo, man. Dunzo. Number nine! We are in the Forsaken Halls in the Shifting Sands. This one, you really have no excuse not to have. I mean, look, it's right in your face already. You see it, right? I'm trying to kill this guy because I have to. And there it is. Look at that. Log number nine. Ta-da! How easy was that? Really easy. Too easy. It's log number 10 that took me a while. And when you find it, I wonder why. But, enter the Pit of Oblivion. So that's the, that's the dungeon inside the dude's giant head. The robot's head. We're going pretty much to the end. So I'll, I'll take you from this console onwards. So here's the console, right? You activated that. Where we're going is that switch. It's like, it's embarrassing to have missed this. Like, I did this pit like three, four times, five times, like inch by inch. And then it's like, oh, I gotta shoot that switch. What? It's right next to the damn switch. Are you kidding me? It's embarrassing, man. It's embarrassing. For someone who like, uh, prides themselves on collectibles, it's kind of embarrassing. You can collect these rewards if you want. I already shown you where it is. You don't really know. Need to know. Uh, but we're going up there. So there it is. Look, I'm just giving you a better angle so you can see it, right? So you've seen it. Let's go get it. Just proof of where we're going. Just, I, like I said, I like to dumb these guys down super well so you know exactly where things are. It's not just like, whoa, what are you doing? Where are you? Why are you going too quick? Taking our time, man. Taking our time. Makes life easier for all of us. Ta-da! There it is. Natalie, log number 10 in the bag. You probably won't get an achievement because those things don't work for shit in this game. Oh well. But I hope this helped you. I hope you found all of Natalie's logs now. I really do. I genuinely hope you do. Just be glad it didn't take you as long as I did.